When hiring a financial advisor, there are many things to take into consideration. Today, we're exploring how advisors are paid. So we brought in the expert, Sue Peck, owner and founder of Evolution Financial. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So interesting topic. We're talking about how people are paying their financial advisors. And at first, I sort of wondered why you'd think that people would know that, right? Right. One would think that people <laughs> would know that. But I'm increasingly seeing people come in, and I'm asking, OK, so how are you currently paying for these services? And I'm getting either an I don't know or I don't think I am. And I can pretty much guarantee, not totally guarantee, but I can pretty much guarantee that that person is not doing it for free. So yeah. you're probably paying them somehow. Right. Uh, that might be a bad business practice to, to be giving away services. Don't stay in business very long that yeah. way. <laughs> so that's interesting that a lot of people are unaware of how they are paying their advisors. But there are different types of financial advisors. And let's talk about those. Right. So there are people who are, they work with insurance. There are people who work work at broker dealers um, or agents of a broker dealer and then there are registered investment advisors. So you have a lot of different things out there and everybody can seemingly call themselves a financial advisor and that's why things get a little confusing. Okay, so that is interesting. So there are different advisors that maybe would recommend different types of investments. Let's right. talk about what those are. Right, so there might be insurance products. So that's going to be like a, a whole life or a universal life product or maybe an annuity. Um, there might be proprietary mutual funds. So those are mutual funds where they kind of have the same name as the door that you walked in, right? Um, and then there are other places that can look at the whole gamut of things and say, okay, we've got mutual funds, we've got exchange traded funds, we've got stocks, bonds. So there's a lot of different options out there. Okay, so getting back to the paying, let's talk about what the different ways are that people might be paying for these types of investments. Right, so with an insurance product, you're going to buy that insurance product. And that purchase is going to give that person some commission. Oftentimes with insurance, you're going to have trailing commissions. So they're going to have you know, X amount of dollars coming in for X amount of years. Um, and then you might have you know, somebody who gets commissions on other proprietary mutual funds, or they get trading fees, things like that. Otherwise, you might have asset management fees, a certain percentage of what you have trusted to them, they are getting paid. And then there's financial planning fees as well. Okay, so you're talking about fees, a variety of different kinds. Is, are those the only expenses then, or are there might be a bit more? There are so many little hidden expenses that you might not see. So there might be rider fees within that insurance product. If you leave the insurance product too soon, you might have a surrender charge. Um, there might be expense ratios in the underlying mutual funds. So that's the, the money that kind of goes to the research teams that research all these mutual funds. So there's a lot of different things that you might not see. So it sounds like it's important for folks to do their homework on what type of advisor that they are may currently have, mm -hmm. read some of the fine print, uh, and also talk a little bit more with their advisor about how they're being charged. Let's talk about you specifically. So obviously owner, founder of Evolution Financial, what do you do to charge clients for your services? How does that work? Yeah, so Evolution Financial is a registered investment advisor, registered with the state of Wisconsin. Um, so I do asset management fees for the fee, for the assets that you have trusted to me. Um, I can also do a one-time plan. That's going to be a one-time fee for you. And then I have ongoing financial planning, which would be kind of a monthly fee that you would pay. So I try to explain things very clearly up front. I don't try to hide it in a book. It's a one-page thing that I'm going to give to people so they can understand how they're paying for these services. And that in and of itself sounds really valuable, just understanding how you're paying your advisor Absolutely. when it sounds like a lot of people don't understand. Absolutely. One thing that I know about you, Sue, is that you do take a limited amount of clients so that you are able to give everybody your full attention. Mm -hmm. Are you taking more clients? I am taking clients right now. Um, I'm, I am kind of getting close to that upper limit. So. So absolutely, give me a call. Um, as I said, there's a lot of different services that I provide, so we can talk through what might be best for you. I think that's wonderful. You start with a consultation and see if it might be a fit before you sort of dive in feet first. Yeah, so. absolutely. No hard sales here. There you go. Great information. Thank you very much. Again, Sue Peck is the owner and founder of Evolution Financial, and we are Talk Wisconsin. We've got more coming up after the break.